COVID-19 has affected Brevard businesses negatively. I spoke to the general manager of the Oaks 10 Cinema, Brent Thompson, about how it has affected the Oaks and what they plan to do to reopen. So hopefully uh, we can get open sooner than later with the governor's new information out. We're not certain exactly when that's going to happen. Um, I said, uh, it looks like AMC may go bankrupt. They're trying to, they can uh, get stuff. We don't want to see any theaters have to actually physically close during this time. Um, but we're the only family run and operated business in the area with the two owners being here in uh, Satellite Beach. They both grew up here. Um, and so the plan moving forward is as soon as they allow us to come up with a plan to open the doors, we're hoping that'll be when restaurants come in that um, hopefully we get some sort of film product that will come out um, so that we can use. There's some film companies now saying they'll give us some free film. So we'll just have to see though it's not any mainstream movie. Um, it's some very off the wall movies we'll say at this point. And then we'll have to come up with a plan to socially distance everyone which would be maybe every other row in the auditorium. Um, we haven't come up with the exact plan yet, but our, our plans would be every other row um, and then maybe space it out. We may even have to have a manager in there to direct to make sure it's, say you're sitting with your family only and then work from there. I also spoke with the director of the Brevard Zoo, Keith Winston, on how coronavirus has affected them. So what's the zoo do? Well, obviously we closed, I think five weeks ago today um, uh, for safety reasons. We split our teams into different groups so that if one team got sick, the other team would still be healthy to take care of the animals. Um, we did have to uh, have part-time people. We furloughed them. Um, we came up with work plans for everybody else. Our biggest issue of course, is that we make about 90% of our money from people coming to the zoo. So we haven't um, had any of that income. So we've switched a lot of our efforts to online fundraising so people can support us that way. Our projects keep going on. We're in the Indian River Lagoon doing living shorelines, taking care of animals, breeding beach mice, taking care of sea turtles. Um, and now we're starting to plan for reopening. So we don't know when we're gonna get the green light to reopen but we're thinking probably June 1st is the date we're planning around right now until we have more information. Um, some of the animals seem to be liking uh, uh, no people around, but we think most animals are really missing the people. Some animals get very excited when we come nearby. This is Shane Winston signing off for WCTZ News.